Hey guys, Justin here to go over the operations of T-Smart's 8 and 16 port KVMs. This is the second video in a three part series. The first was a bunch of really cool demos and the next is how to set up the Pi KVM for remote access. Links for everything are below. Let's dive right into it. So these KVMs can switch in six different ways. The first four here on the list are pretty consistent across all TE Smart products. And the last two we're saving for later in the video because they're a little bit more complicated. To use the push buttons, it's really easy. You just press the number that you want to switch to. We have a 16 port model set up here. And if you want to go through 10 through 16, you're going to do one plus, let's say zero. That's going to take us over here to our Raspberry Pi. Hotkey switching is my personal favorite way to switch. To activate them, you're going to press the scroll lock key twice. So let's go scroll, scroll, one, six. And now that's going to take us over here to our yoga. You can also switch sequentially by doing scroll, scroll, page up and page down. So let's go up. You know, so we went to number one, let's go back down and that's gonna take us back down to number 16. The KVMs also come with a remote control and the same thing, you're just gonna press the number that you wanna to go to. So let's go to one. Oh, I actually just press one twice. So this one thing that's important is when you wanna to go to input one, just press one and let it sit. You see I'm on 11, let's just go back to one here. There we go, now we're in input number one. Also on the remote control, the M button here is going to turn on the auto input detection and the P button here is gonna turn on auto scanning. Now, if you don't have access to the front panel or the keyboard, you can also turn on mouse gesture switching. This feature is off by default and to turn it on, we're gonna press scroll, scroll, F12. You notice this little light comes on here on the LED. And now when we double tap the side of the screen, it's gonna switch down or up depending on which side. So let's go down and we're gonna be over here on our yoga, which went from one to 16. Now let's go back up. And now we're here on input number one, which is gonna be our desktop. Oh, the, the buzzer, a lot of people don't really like that. So you turn that off with doing scroll, scroll, F11. Now let's make sure here. And yes, it's muted. So now you're gonna hear the buzzer or the KVM's beep anymore. Auto scanning is another feature that a lot of people like. To do that, you're gonna press scroll, scroll, space bar. And when you turn it on, you notice that status LED comes on to let you know that it's on. And the time interval can be set from six seconds up to 60 minutes. And you can change it with a hotkeys by doing scroll, scroll, plus or scroll, scroll, minus for less. But one thing you may have noticed is nothing happens here. You have no idea what time you just changed it to. So I think it's pretty inefficient. And I recommend that everybody just uses the front panel here. When you press the second buttons, you can see we're up to 50 seconds. We'll press set and now it's at 50 seconds. To turn auto scanning off, super simple. Either the scan button or you just press escape you notice that the status light turned off. That's it for the physical controls. Let's gonna go ahead and fire up the control panel on our laptop over here. You'll download the control application from the product page. Just scroll down, there's a support tab here. You'll see this file. You'll download the folder and you're gonna launch the control.exe file, which is gonna bring up to this screen. There's two different ways to connect to the control app, either through a serial connection here or through the network control. And you notice that these buttons down here are green when that input is activated. So let's say we wanted to go to number 10. The green button activates, the LED switches to 10, and our Raspberry Pi is now on our monitor. We can mute or unmute the buzzer. Let's go ahead and unmute that. And we can also turn off this LED display. Let's go ahead and put this to 10 seconds. In this last selection here, auto input detection, that's pretty cool. When the KVM detects a new connection to one of the inputs, it's gonna automatically switch over to that input. So super helpful if you're managing a bunch of servers and one of them reboots on you. When the server comes back up, it's gonna switch over to that connection automatically. Okay, we see our LED turned off. Let's go ahead and turn that back on. Hit never, apply, and that's it for the controls. We're gonna take all this apart and we're gonna come back to show you how to set this up on your LAN. We'll be right back. 